Hello everyone, this is a companion video for the release of the BDE integrator platform and I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy the platform and uh, I'm going to show you it on an example of actual setup we have in NV which includes three physical hosts, NC4, NC5 and NC6 and uh, the setup itself will include the um, Hadoop cluster name node with three data nodes uh, distributed across those uh, physical nodes, uh, Spark with three Spark workers, uh, UI integrator, they're going to be a reverse proxy with CSS wrapper and the HDFS file browser, uh, a nice interface to upload our files to HDFS. So uh, the whole setup thing is available on uh, our GitHub and uh, you can just go there and uh, take a look if you're interested after the uh, presentation. Here. Right, so let's get to it. First of all, I'm on the XSW NC4 server, which runs um, which runs Docker Swarm, and I'm showing you that I have indeed three nodes here um, with these uh, URIs and uh, these host names. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first uh, deploy the cluster and I created a make file for uh, myself here. What, what basically does it creates an overlay network first, which called BD demo. Then it's gonna build Docker Compose file because I have to build integrator UI to include the interfaces uh, in there so I can navigate through them. And then it's gonna just make it up. So let, let's go quickly through the Docker Compose YAML file to see what's in there. Uh, there is basically a UI integrator, which is going to be available on uh, demobdxw.org, and this is the main interface we're interested in. There is a CSS wrapper, uh, which is reverse proxy. This is a modification of JWilder and Genix proxy, which is going to listen to the uh, Swarm Master and um, basically proxy the, all the interfaces uh, which you export to as a virtual host to the outside world. There is one name node uh, which got cluster name test and a bunch of other configuration parameters and it's going to be uh, exposed to name node.bd.xl.org. We also like here the modification for the JWI proxy which inject the CSS source um, during the proxying basically. There are three data nodes. Uh, also, what you can see here is a uh, Spark Master, and it exposed on Spark Master PDX and uh, what is important, there are constraints, and um, I want to deploy Spark Master and a name node on XWNC4, and uh, three data nodes should be uh, deployed on one on the each of the physical nodes, and the same goes for uh, Spark workers. I have depends on clauses, and depends is uh, got a condition service healthy. I got health health checks on all those services, and that means that Spark Master will not start until name node and at least one data node I just shows in a data node one is healthy. The same goes for Spark worker uh, one. It will wait until the Spark Master is healthy, and then. Will, will start itself. At the end, uh, we got Hue, which is um, a bit modified because we are only interested in the file browser here to uh, copy files there. I included the health check here as an example um, directly into Docker Compose file. Basically, what it does is just pings local host on port 8088 and uh, whenever it returns, um, zero code, it, it marks it as healthy and there is a dependency on top of the file, then the CSS wrapper can start because it, it waits for all the uh, services which you exposed to be healthy. So let's start it. I do makeup. Now our cluster is up and uh, what you can do is um, you can do docker compose minus h this port and then you do ps and you, you can see that all of the services are indeed running. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to browser and I'm gonna go to demo and here it is so i click on name nodes i can go to the name uh, data node tab and i can see that indeed three data nodes are running the same goes for uh, spark master i can see that three workers are running and they are live and i can go to the hdfs and i can actually log in i logged in into hdfs and what i can do right now is i'm going to upload a file 
so I, I will have it uh, later as a, a example for the application I'm going to run on this cluster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this book.txt file, which is a Lewis Carroll Alice in Wonderland. And right now I'm going to go back to the terminal and I'm going to first run a simple pi calculation on this cluster, which contains in uh, a pi uh, YAML file. So you can see here that uh, basically I set up the Spark Master to be Spark Master uh, because it's in the same network, it's gonna see it by this host name. And the host name is basically a name of the service in Docker Compose definition. The port is the default one, you can change this one. Uh, this is copied inside the example app Docker Compose. So if I go to see this thing, you can see that I'm copy Spark examples to the app. So this points directly to the jar file and it points to the main class which is going to be executed. I, I got this uh, command to run it uh, inside makefile and it builds it and then runs it. You can see some output, uh, spark magic is happening and then you can see the pi estimation here. So the next thing is I have to modify the word count, the next uh, sample application I'm going to run. And I have to point it to the exactly book.txt where it is located. Let me take a look. And it is located in the correct directory. So actually, I don't have to modify anything here. I'm going to run the second example. It's again going to build it, then going to run it. and. All right, you got really, really long output with a lot of words counted inside the Lewis Carroll Alice in Wonderland book. And that basically concludes uh, this demonstration. Uh, the cluster is going to be available online. I'm not going to share the login and password for you because of security reasons. However, you can uh, navigate there and take a look uh, that it is indeed running and it's deployed with integrated nice uh, interface. There are several things to simplify this, uh, this setup and this is going to be covered uh, in the next presentation. Thank you for watching.